All right, we're going to be implementing a try data structure on WeCode. And if you don't know what a try is, here's an example of one. You have the root node at the top. And as we insert words, we just insert them letter by letter by letter. And any words that share a prefix will be sharing those nodes um, at the beginning. So for example, if you look to the left of this try, you'll notice that there's the word John and then there's the word Jose. Uh, because John and Jose both start with J-O, they share um, the prefix along the way. Um, so, which is J and O. Okay, so we're gonna be implementing this. Um, let's start by creating a node class. So private node, and it's actually to say class. And every node in a try can have at most 26 children, assuming that we're working with only lowercase letters, um, which I think that's in the constraint. Yeah, uh, word and prefix consists of only lowercase English letters. So uh, let's, create a node array. So children equals new node, 26, cool. And we need to signify if this node is a word. So for example, if we were inserting John, J-O-H, uh, let me just type it really fast. So J-O-H aren't words, so this would be false, but then at the, the letter N, J-O-H-N, the node holding the letter N is word would be true. Um, so now we need to create the root. So just do private node root equals new node. Boom, now we have our root. And now let's insert a word. So we're going to loop through this word. And we need the index into the, the children array of the node of the node class. So uh, let's say index equals um, word.char at i, so this will give us the letter, and we're going to subtract a to like, so like, for example, this, let's say, let's say word.char at was a, well, then a minus a would be zero. And if we had a b in here, then this would be index one, because b minus a would give us one. That's all that's doing. And now what we're going to say is, if children Actually, so we actually need a pointer to the current node that we're on. So let me create that really fast. So we'll just call this node cur equals root. So I'm just setting this to the root. And if the current node, if the current node doesn't have a, a child node for this letter, so if it equals null, then we are going to create that node. Equals uh, new node. And we actually need to think, actually, no, this is fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we so now we created the node at that index. So if this will say the letter B, we're creating a child node at index B. Uh, okay. And now we can, if so now if this wasn't created, so if this didn't exist before, we created it here. And now what we can do is say cur equals so we're setting this current to the next to that child that we just created so we're just looping down the tree the nodes of the tree as we're creating them and uh once we're all done we need to say that this is a word so basically the last time that so the last node that we created cur will be set to that right here right and then we'll break out of the loop eventually then we just set that last node to true uh, to signify that it's a word all right, so our insert's done, and now we need to implement search and starts with. So this search and starts with, they're extremely similar because search is going to loop through this, this all the letters in this word looking for the last node that, that of the last letter of this word, and prefix is going to do the exact same thing. It's going to loop through the letters in the prefix and um, get that last node in the prefix. Uh, and it'll, well, so anyway, um, we can actually, uh, just create a helper method that both of these can call. So let me do that. Let me do private and what it's going to, what it's going to do, it's going to return the node. So this node is, that's going to return is the last letter either in this prefix or this word. So let's call it get prefix node. And 
So I'm going to pass in word here. So like what I'll do is let's say here, uh, we'll say node. I'm going to pretend like I already wrote this and you'll, so I, I, you can see the logic of how I'm going to actually use the helper function in the first place. So if I'm going to search for this word right here, then node node equals get prefix node. And then we're going to pass in the word. And now if node equals null, then return false. And if node isn't null, then we need to return node.isWord. Because that uh, we still have to because just because the there's a node that exists for this word, and like at the very say it was John, we need to check if that letter N is actually a word or not. Uh, because if it's not, then that means that it's just a prefix of some some other words. Uh, so that's why we return is word here. Um, I feel like we can turn this into a one liner. So what we're gonna do is if node is not equal to null, return that, return the is word, otherwise uh, return false. Yeah, we could just make that really clean. Cool. And now we can do starts with, so node, node equals get prefix node, pass in the prefix, and we're just gonna return if this isn't null. Because if we found a, a node for, this pre for the last letter of the prefix, then uh, that means there's that prefix exists in our tree, so we just return true. Okay, so now we actually have to write get prefix node. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did up here, where I did node cur equals root, and we're gonna say we actually we do the same the exact same kind of loop. I is less than prefix dot length. And we're going to say current equals, I feel like I should make the index. Yeah, let's, do, let's make the index first. Index equals prefix dot char at I minus minus A. Okay. And then her equals, um, I'm thinking, I'm, I feel like there's going to be a null pointer exception. I need to think about it for a second. But anyway, so we're going to say cur dot, cur equals cur dot children um at the index and at the very end we're going to return cur what i'm worried about is what happens when we don't have that letter anymore so on the first iteration this is fine right but then what happens if there is no node at this index then the cur will be null and then we'll hit a null pointer exception so what we're going to do is add a little condition to our for loop and say and cur is not equal to null that way we never hit a null pointer exception here. And if it is null, then we're just going to return null. Okay, so I think we are good. Let me just run this. I missed a semicolon somewhere. We're at line 20. Cool. Let's submit it. All right, it works. Um, so yeah, that's how you implement a try in, uh, in Java. So uh, yeah. I guess we could talk about the time complexity really quick. So um, for insert, uh, that's just going to be the length of the word because you could. I mean, that's clearly the, we're just looping through the entire word, right? So that's it's big O of whatever the word length is, and then the search is going to be assuming that the words that all the words are sorry, assuming that there is at least one word in our try that is longer than this word we're looking for, then it's the length of this word. But if all the words in the try are shorter than this word, then it would be the length of the longest word in our try. So we let me, let me type that out. So it's a big O of the max of say word dot length and the long, right now, sorry, it's the min of the word dot length or, um, the longest word. So it would be, how do I type this? The longest word inserted, in, longest inserted word dot length. So like, I, I think you get what I'm trying to say here. I'm having a hard time like actually typing it in some formal way, but it's the minimum 
of whichever one is longer, either the longest word or in our try or the minimum of the word length. Okay. And, but we usually, so generally just to make this simple, we just assume that there's at least one word in the try that's longer. So we just usually say it's uh, the big O of the word dot length. All right. And the other, so this, these actually, re these are going to be all the same, right? Search starts with and get prefix node. Those all have the same time complexity because they're all using that helper function that I wrote. Okay, um, so that's it. Okay, if this helped, you can give it a thumbs up. All right, bye.